Hello and welcome to this very special edition of Beyond the Politics, Queen's Park Edition, where we've had the opportunity to come here thanks to our good friend and close confidant, MPP for Bay of Quinney, Todd Smith, to use the facilities here at Queen's Park to talk to some of the moving shakers who make it happen right here behind the scenes in the provincial capital. Uh, our guest for this segment is MPP for Hastings, Lennox and Addington, and also a close friend of both us in the riding and us for the show, Rick Brzee. Thank you for having me here today. Uh, Rick, talk about the, the state of the riding. What we want to talk about first with everyone is kind of moving forward. Where is Hastings, Lennox, and Addington right now, and how positive do you feel about how the area is moving forward, both as a riding and as a region for Eastern Ontario? Honestly, things are going extremely well right now. I mean, the economic development opportunities that have been happening over the past several years, uh, both since I became MPP and, and prior to that, uh, are, are tremendous for for specifically the riding, but for the entire region. We're seeing a lot of, of uh, very positive announcements, both on the economic development front, but also in healthcare, in um, some of the arts and cultures, that, things that are going on. There's a lot of very positive activity going on across the riding right now. Now you're in a very different role from where you used to be, though of course, same area, former mayor of Loyalist Township, now about a year and a half in your role as MPP. What's that transition been like? And uh, how much are you enjoying this new role and compare it to what it was like when you were a mayor, of course, leading a municipal government on a smaller scale? Well, I'm going to go back a little bit. Mm -hmm. right? Years ago, when I first started my working life, I was a line cook. And I was a line cook in a little you know, greasy spoon, flipping burgers and, and cooking french fries. And then I moved over and became a line cook in an Italian restaurant. I'm going to compare that. When I was the mayor, the warden of Lennox and Addington, I was working economic development. I was working with the individuals, the residents around me as they needed some help navigating through government process. And whether that was the businesses and the developers or whether that was the individuals or trying to figure out how to, uh, how to make ends meet that, that particular week, I was working with them to try to help them along. As I transitioned to this role, I'm doing exactly the same thing. It's just now I'm dealing with different subject matters, where before I was worried about uh, you know, the parks and the garbage collection and the snow plows. Now I'm focused on healthcare and economic development, again, <laughs> and all these other ranges that we're working on. So similar job, different subject matters. And one thing that, of course, was beginning when you were the mayor of Loyalist Township and has since come to fruition and actually celebrated a big milestone not that long ago was the new EV battery parts plant that's happening in Loyalist Township. Uh, talk about the groundbreaking. How great a moment was it to be there for then? And or refresh people's memory as to what that project will mean because there's a lot of talk about developing this industry in Canada, specifically here in Ontario, but there's a big element of this that's happening right here in Loyalist Township and, of course, Hastings, Lennox, and Addington. Absolutely. I'll start from the, I'll say that bigger picture. Of course, we all know that uh, electric vehicles are kind of the wave of the future. We, certain, we certainly anticipate that uh, that is the next big automotive trend. And one of the pieces that has been a, a big challenge worldwide for that trend is the idea that the, the critical minerals that we need are only available from certain countries around the world and countries that don't always have the best human rights record, that don't always have the best environmental record. But we've discovered that we have all of those minerals right here in Ontario. In the Ring of Fire, in specifically in Northern Ontario, we've got all of those minerals available so we can start that supply chain and finish that supply chain right here in Ontario. And this plant that you're talking about in Loyalist Township, along with several other announcements that have gone on uh, over the last year or two, right, really speak to the idea that we can mine the materials, we can have the green steel as one of, one of the announcements, uh, all of these pieces that add up to electric vehicles being built right here in Ontario. Specifically for the Umacore plant, they are both a new materials and a recycled materials uh, factory that will build the components for uh, batteries for electric vehicles and for other types of battery uses, certainly. Uh, so that one is a, a huge step in that overall supply chain that we need. And in doing so, 
brings other businesses, brings a lot of secondary businesses into the region. This is huge for the economic growth across the Eastern Ontario region and specifically right here in, in uh, Hastings and Lennox and Eddington. One of the things that really impressed me about their project too was uh, it was an opportunity for learning. Uh, there's a huge component of that which is for placement students as they're going through at that stage. And that's something that when a lot of these announcements are made, we talk about jobs, we talk about economic impact, but the opportunity for learning and for people to really get their first foot into the door into that kind of industry is really big for that project. It's a sizable component of what they're doing. Absolutely. They're talking about having up to 600 placement or co-op students uh, working within that to learn the processes. And again, this speaks to the idea that we are building a whole new industry. Those students will continue on in some cases with Umacore, but they will also spread out and be across the entire industry and be a great asset for this province. Because let's face it, the best asset in the entire province is not the minerals, is not the land, it's the people. And having those great skills in our people right here in Ontario is wonderful. Now, we can't expect an announcement like that every year, every two years, every five years. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a, it's a big project, <laughs> especially for what is essentially a smaller rural area like Loyalist Township. But what does it say about how ready this area is and how capable it is to take on projects like the Umicore plant, like Amazon in Belleville, like these big names, big projects are coming to what has been a relatively untapped resource in terms of development until say the last 10 or 20 years. Well, and you're right in that, you know, Eastern Ontario hasn't always been the, uh, the magnet to attract these large industries, but the geography tells you that it should. We are smack dab in the middle between Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, as well as a huge market uh, south of the border. Right. That tells you that this is a, a great area from that perspective, but it took years to build the infrastructure, to build the people, to build the, the, uh, the infrastructure requirements like power and gas and rail lines and all of this to make sure that we were ready for these investments. And whether it's Loyalist Township or the economic development folks in Lennox and Annington or across the region, they've been working for years to make sure that they were ready for this overnight success. And, and what does this also say about the, the need for investment? I mean, this also comes at a time when there's been a huge push in Eastern Ontario for uh, high-speed rural internet, for uh, the ability to handle this kinds of infrastructure, for the investments in terms of developing industrial land before the call ever is made, for being ready. H how important is this not only for municipalities in the province to keep investing in so that more announcements like this can happen? There's been a phrase that I've been using a lot lately, right? just again, because of the nature of the work. And it was one that my father used a lot and I know he stole it from somewhere else, but I said, when's the best time to plant a tree? And the answer is 20 years ago. And the second best time to plant a tree is right now. We can't go back 20 years, but I can tell you that those smaller municipalities, the Loyalists, the Napanese, the uh, Center Hastings, all of the municipalities within, within my riding and across Eastern Ontario have been working for 20 years. And so now they're ready. And actually you're going to see a number. There's a lot of exciting opportunities that are, are right on the edge of announcements right now. I'm not allowed to announce them quite yet, but uh, I think you're gonna see a lot of announcements over the next little while. It's an incredibly exciting time. Uh, one last thing, there's another exciting thing that's been happening, which is uh, there have been some groundbreakings for long-term care homes. There was a long period of time when Ontario didn't invest in long-term care. That's changing in a big way right now. Uh, talk about the groundbreaking in Madoc, which of course is possibly the largest one, but certainly not the only one that's been happening in Hastings, Lennox and Addington. Absolutely. It was great to be out there with Minister Cho to, uh, to, to do that groundbreaking, to make those announcements. And it actually goes back, I'll say, uh, uh, just before the last election, I had the opportunity to stand with my predecessor, uh, FPP Daryl Cramp, uh, along with uh, different ministers at the time, and make announcements that there was going to be over 600 new long-term care beds in Hastings, Lennox and Addington. And that number really stuck in my head even then when I was the warden of the county because there were only 600 built over the previous 15 years. Mm -hmm. Again, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. We should have been building these long-term care facilities all along. We should never have gotten into the crisis that we did but we're now doing those builds and it's not just planning to build. 
I understand we're up over 18,000 beds in the, across the province that we have uh, started construction on to, to build with a target of 30,000 new beds and 30,000 more renewed beds. So we're making the difference to make sure that we have long-term care facilities available for our seniors long into the future. And that's just one component of, of housing. We know that we need to continue to, housing has been the biggest, uh, I'll say the biggest headline for, for this party, for this government, uh, this term of office certainly. This is one type of housing. We need all types of housing. We need to have the, the McMansions that, are, that are, seem to be easy to build, but we also need purpose-built rentals. We need all different sizes of homes. And we've got programs in place to make sure that that's happening. And we're helping our local municipalities get to where they need to be so that they can do, do further developments within their own regions. Well, thank you, Rick Brzee. Thank you for that snapshot of what's going on in Hastings, Lennox, and Addington. This has been a segment of Beyond the Politics, Queen's Park Edition.